If I mention the name Arlo, I am sure most of you will be confused. Some of you who know who he is would probably not know the importance of this boy, his connection to this vast Warframe universe, his importance when it comes to tradition and everything that exists and those that exist before him and with him. A phantom, a remnant of an old tradition, an evolution for all to behold. To know and understand Arlo, you must first understand the cultures, traditions, and those who embody what we see now. We must go back in time and trace our steps back to the present. Long ago, the Myconian colony began as a group of refugees across the system, floating in a conjuncted space citadel. When the question was asked where they came from, some would say that they came defected from the Corpus faction, some would say that they were remnants from an old empire, some would say they escaped a planet consumed by rot, despair and hate. One thing is certain, however, the Myconians lived among the infestation, like a child protected by its mother. They could breathe, sleep, and walk in their colony. This was because of the Ward of Grace protected by the Triuna, the savior of the people. The Triuna is a person bestowed with a special power. It is both a blessing and a curse. The Triuna possess the powers that keeps the infestation at bay. The powers are like an invisible field that calms and ward off the aggression within the space. This is something that was essential for the survival of the Myconian people. Time after time, the mantle of the Triuna was passed from one host to the other. The Triuna is the host to a special organism much like the Helmuth virus. It is, in fact, a form of an infestation by itself. In the passing, a child with enough humanity to withstand the virus is selected and infused to become the Triuna. And due to the nature of this virus, the host doesn't live that long. In some cases, they have to test the children with just a sliver of this Triuna. And if the child should fail, they are casted off, disbanded. It is a tradition that had been in existence for generations among the Myconians, and because the Myconians do not possess the resources or the ability to heal themselves of this infestation, they believe that prevention is their best option, and should one person within the colony be infected, as said earlier, they are casted out, exiled to live the rest of their lives within the derelicts, sometimes on errors. Now, I am sure you are wondering the purpose of this brief history and why it connects to the name Arlo. This will help you in understanding the origins and the purpose of Arlo himself, the Emissary of Eris. Old Kanga was infected and casted out by his people. To his fate, he descended into the caves below, and there he found Arlo, a boy they abandoned long ago due to his infection, thought to be consumed by his own affliction or dead from his own corruption. Some way, somehow, Arlo lived. But now this boy has been reborn, a savior, an emissary from the void. With a single touch from his hands, all are healed immune and protected by this magnificent cosmic and divine power. Though Arlo had lost his voice within those years, his cosmic strength still echoed louder than a roaring thunder. Not only could Arlo cure one of infestation, it could heal the grenier of their clone rot. Arlo could also heal everyone from all sorts of affliction and ailment. While the Triuna serves as a ward of grace against the infestation, the Emissary of Eris serves as a healer for all things. In time, Arlo became this messiah. Many will travel across the stars, across the system, to worship, follow, or be healed by 
this amazing child. This triumphant touch made dry bones rise again, and soon the stars echoed louder and louder with the name Arlo. Like most prophets of old, a religion sprung from their ideologies, existence, or hate for a certain individual. In time, Arlo and his followers sit at the precipice of the system, a god to some, but not to most. Soon people found the depths in which Arlo emerged and began to plunge themselves into the pit of rot and spores to gain this divine power from its source, to become powerful or even greater than Arlo. If this place gave Arlo his powers, then we can become like him too. But all these people jump based on theories that that is how Arlo gained his powers. They do not know the conditions in which the powers was bestowed upon him. In fact, they do not know if that place was where Arlo got his powers or if he was afflicted by something else. In turn, they shall create a new wave of infestation, perhaps a strand more powerful, aware and conscious. An aggressive zombie slash vampire, if one would say. Like the Triuna, the Tenno's once sought to protect. The Tenno will soon be tasked with protecting Arlo. The archive says that Arlo is an emissary. But the question also arises, who are his masters? Are they of the Void? Are they of the Unum? Is it a hive mind, an infested queen, or a guardian laying within the depths of Ares? I guess the Tenno will have to journey to Eris one day, sooner or later, to find out. The answers could be on the infested planet, or it could be on the plains of Doviri. That is one question that is left for us to answer. But until we find the answers, thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next one.